Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this uh, Corel file, and then they sent me a photograph of something they want it to look like, and they wanted to make sure that they didn't have any interior cut lines, because if you we use this right now, this the hairline is going to cut out. So we're not going to. So what we're going to do real quick, we're going to go ahead and I think this is grouped together. So I can take the Smart Fill tool and get a sample of that just in case they want to make it that color. And I am going to take away the outline right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and group this together. And by doing that, I can, well, you know what I need? I'm going to need that outline again. So uh, let me take the smart fill and just drop it down. Because I want that outline. And I'm going to nudge it over here. Now, this is one of the real important times you want to nudge. Because we're going to put this right back. Uh, I'm going to go to Object and Group. And I'm going to get the Interactive Fill Tool. And I'm going to go from the bottom of the D up. And then you can just adjust your slider and see it's kind of white up there. And the reason that's why it's got a black outline, I'm going to call that good. Now, we're going to take this one. And if you think around this, it's going to have a black, a white, a black. So we need three contours. So we're going to go and group this together real quick so the contour tool will work. Go up to effects and contour. We're going to contour. I didn't have them grouped together. The contour tool won't work. So if it's ever grayed out, we're going to contour three times. I must have started off with something pretty big. Let's go 0.5. Mm. That doesn't look too bad. I think it's too much. Let's go 0.3. There we go. And we're going to have to contour these inside parts. Best way to do that is take the Smart Fill tool and make a new object. And we'll go ahead and use that same color. Now we're going to nudge it up. And there's just black with white in the background. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a, a white background around the whole thing. So we're going to take these two. We're going to left click, right click. And we're just going to individually, we just need one contour. Because it's just going to have black in it. Now, I always break the contour apart just in case it'll give you any trouble, and then we can nudge these down. So what I want to do is I want to make sure I've got all the contour broken apart. The last one is going to be black, but I need a white inner. So let's do this. I did move it, but I'm just testing. I'm going to break the contour apart. I'm going to grab that last one. Well, I'm going to have to break it apart again. There we go. I want that shape. I'm also going to take out, I'm going to go up here and go to object and break the curve apart. And I'm going to get rid of these little shapes that I do not want. Okay, I am going to set up a yellow box trick. I keep calling it a trick. It's not really a trick, but I've called it that for so long. And we're going to we're going to get the smart fill tool. Let me zoom in here, and we're going to fill in this spot with white, and it, depending on what color you want. But then I'm going to nudge that out of the way because I still need this. So now I don't have to put white in the color and I do need that. I think. So the first one is black. I'm going to go to black and I'm going to fill in black and black. Now the only difference in my drawing right now is uh, 
I'm going to have some black. Whoop, I'm going to have some black where she's got white or they have white because these aren't really touching. So in your scenario, you might want to uh, go a little bit darker or a little bit bigger nudge or bigger, bigger contour. So it will, I don't want that black. I want that and that and that. Everything else is going to be white. So now what I can do is nudge this over and up. I think that's going to work. I don't think I need that part right there. Let's go. Let's go select. Let's go select it all. Go up to object and ungroup everything. I want to get rid of that little, well, you know what probably easier just to do is take the smart fill tool or virtual segment delete key and just delete that line. Delete that and delete that. Because whatever is yellow now, I want to be white. And because this, we can go to object or, uh, order back a page. You know, I'd put it I'm going to have to go put the yellow now on back of page. So now I can nudge my white down and over. I think I got it. Um, let me look at it a little closer. Well, I'm really going to have to have that yellow box trick back. For some reason, the W doesn't look. Oh, I don't. Ha I didn't put black in there. We want black under that first one. There we go. Now the only difference in between hers and mine is that I've got black right here, and she has white. But that's because uh, these were contoured a little bit more, and it it stopped this gap for the black from leaking in there. Now, I'm pretty sure, see we have a fountain fill, I'm going to hit the shape tool, or the shift tool, and I'm going to group these together. I'm pretty sure that you can, I don't think we want to combine them, I'm pretty sure you can get the interactive fill tool back and change this look, now that you have, look at that, you can. You know, now that you can actually see it, what it's going to look like. And for the one I'm helping, if you need help getting this white, um, I can do that too. Anyway, pretty cool little project. Now, I'm pretty sure there's no lines. Right there it says none. But if you're not sure, let's delete this and... Let's leave the yellow box. I would go, well, there's, there's no lines. I mean, it says it right there, but we could double check everything. You could grab your fill, and there's no lines there. It's fills. You can grab your white or that, and this is no, and there's no cut lines. We could grab that. There's no cut lines. You know, that is a no cut line. That's a fill. Okay, there is lines. I'm telling, I'm lying a little bit. This is why it's important to nudge stuff out of the way because I guarantee you, I need to nudge that field up and nudge these down because she would have been a little upset. Now we need to get rid of the white or nudge it out of the way. See, there's one of our lines. Let's see if we can't get the white. We're just going to keep deleting till we get the white. That should be the white. Nope. Ah. So we're just going to delete that. We're 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 going to delete that. Delete that. Delete that. Delete that. And I, I'm having trouble grabbing that white. There we go, white, no fill, or no outline. Put that, 
Put that back. Put this back. And I can almost guarantee there is no lines there. One way we can always check it, let's close the contour docker, go to tool, I'll go to Windows, Dockers, Objects, and open the master page. And master layer. And you can look at ever that this is a curve or rect we can get rid of the rectangle a group of two objects, and it's gonna show you what that is and you can delete it. That's the, that's the smart or the feel. Uh, that's the curve of the W, there's a curve of the inside, the outside. That is a color. See, you could select everything on there. You know, go downhill or hit the uh, tab key from the bottom. Well, I guess the tab key's not gonna to work today. And just look down here to make sure there's no cut line. Now, she does need a cut line around the whole thing, though, if she's going to cut it out. I just kind of started thinking about that. I've already deleted them. Um, if she wants the whole thing cut and not, not the interior cut, this will be an easy fix. I should have left that one line. We can get the smart fill tool and let's fill this in with something other than black. Let's move that over. Let's, uh, let's left click, right click. I'm gonna make the cut line red, go up to object, break the curve apart, get rid of that. And then this will be a cut line around her vinyl. But if you want to save a little bit of vinyl on the edge, you can go effects and contour, contour the outside. Let's go 0 0.03, go up to object, break the contour apart, grab that black, make it red, and then move it over. And now you have a cut line and you could change that 0 0.01, 0 0.03. Now it's not going to cut out the center, but it will cut out the sticker or the vinyl. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.